In this video, we will prove derivative of sin x is equal to cos x using trigonometry. So, this is x and y axis and if we have any graph y is equal to fx. Then at any point x, the value of y will be y and now if we increase x by some dx then x will become x plus dx then y will also increase by some dy y will become y plus dy and dy may be negative also if we have decreasing function suppose we have any decreasing function this is y is equal to fx and now at any point x the value of y is y and if we increase x by dx then x will become x plus dx and y will also change by some dy y will become y plus dy where dy is negative so the point is if we change x by dx then y will also change by some dy and now we have y is equal to sin x and if we change x by dx then y will change by some dy so we get y plus dy is equal to sin x plus dx and now we can get y plus dy is equal to sin a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b so here we get sin x cos dx plus cos x sin dx and now we have for a small theta according to a small angle approximation sin theta is equal to theta and cos theta is equal to 1 and we know that here we know that dx is very small so we can get y plus dy is equal to sin x and cos dx will be 1 plus cos x and sin dx will be dx because sin theta is equal to theta and we have y is equal to sin x we have y is equal to sin x plus dy is equal to sin x plus cos x dx and sin x and sin x will get cancelled and we can get dy is equal to cos x dx or we can get dy by dx is equal to cos x and y is equal to sin x so we can get d by dx of sin x is equal to cos x and it is the required proof.